Are you emotionally numb? When you feel like nothing matters, man. I don't care about nothing. Nothing. Well, that was the way I felt for a good portion of my life. And I want to help you understand how I got out of it so it could potentially help you. Stay tuned to the video and listen to my breakdown. Cyrus Assad. In my life, I went through a lot. I seen my mother on drugs. I seen my father selling drugs. I seen, man, I seen cops break my uncle's jaw. I done, man, I'm not even about to get it back into all that. The point that I'm making is I seen so much that I became numb to everything. Where I just was like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Well, what about this? I don't care. Like, I just was kind of like a zombie. I was just going through the motions. I still played basketball, school, etc., but I was still going through the motions. I was just like, it's like, it's like nothing matters on all levels. Can be with a girl. What, what happens if she leaves you? She left me. Well, I'm in the plane and it's turbulence. I'm like, if I'm supposed to go, it's my time to go. Like nothing matters. Nothing. And if you feel like that, then you understand where I'm coming from, where it just feels as if that's the this this expression tells you everything, just I don't care. And you realize that you do that about absolutely everything, but you are going through the motions. Let me tell you how I got through. I started attaching myself to things that can aid people moving forward. What I mean by that is I started giving myself agendas to say, you know what? What do I know that I can help somebody understand? I do know about trauma. I do know about drugs and how it affects families. I do know about this. And although I'm numb to it, maybe that can give me a way of speaking that can help other people because I'm emotionally done with it. It's just like, it is what it is. So at least I can speak in a way that's so honest that people that's going through it can be like, thank you. Somebody is, you know, speaking on it. So that was my stance. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to represent myself in a way that's so honest that it's going to help other people. And I started with music. And I created this company called All Honesty. Well, it was really, you know what? I'm going to get on stage and I'm going to tell the world exactly how I feel on everything. And I just don't care. What about the people that don't like it? They don't like it. I turned my emotional numbness into a way that I figured I could help people. And it's like, what about those people that said this? I don't care. What about the people that like it and love it? Don't care. Whether they love it or they hate it, I still don't care. I'm just giving it out to the people in the purest form. Because nothing bothers me. What happened in this journey is this. I started understanding how it affects people. And it gave me something to care about. It started becoming, you know what? Let me make sure I tailor this message in a way that can really help people. The same message that I use for second grader is not going to be the same message I'm going to use for somebody that's 40. I might create a coloring book for them. And I may give a speech for them. <clears throat> so I had to start caring about how I was going to give the message. And then as you start caring about how you're going to give the message, or in my case, I started looking at how it was really affecting people. And I started being like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to be conscious of the ways that I'm affecting people. Although I'm numb, I can say something straight up. You can say something to me and I'm like, it is what it is. I still don't want to hurt people. 
You know, I do care about that. And that's what I had to learn. I care about hurting people. Although I'm numb, I don't feel like much can hurt me. I don't want to hurt somebody. So that's where I was emotionally numb. Like you, like I even feel that way now. I'd be like, you can say something about me. Just don't hurt the people around me. Just send them all my way. Use me as a filter. And if you feel like that, let me give you some pointers on how I got through it. One, connect yourself to something you identify with. Something. I don't care what it is. Painting, basketball, whatever. Something. Doesn't matter. And use that as a platform to do some form of teaching within the information that you did learn. Because if you are truly numb, use this as your advantage. If you are truly numb, then you will be able to teach in a way that's so pure or so straightforward and real that you're going to penetrate way deeper than anybody else. Because other people is going to tiptoe about what they say. They don't want somebody to say this about them. They don't want people to not like them. They don't want all that. And you ain't going to have that problem. You can be like... And I know what you may be thinking. I don't even care to do that. But let me tell you, with this emotional numbness that we have, you have to redirect it somewhere. You have to. That's just the reality of the circumstance. Because I always evaluate patterns. So if you continue your life doing as you're doing now, where would you end up? And a part of you still may not even care about that. But on the flip side, you can look at how can I affect my family, my friends, or myself in a positive manner. Because if it's truly numb, like I was, then you start not caring about things that come your way. You start not caring about a lot. So I even looked at food. I looked at a lot of things. And I was like, look, if I don't care about what I eat, I'm emotionally numb to all that. I don't care. Then at least let me just go down the path that will produce good results. Because I don't care. Let me follow the path that produced good results. And if you look at that from the emotional numbness standpoint that you may be at is. Let me follow the path that produced good results. Because nothing matters. I don't care. And if you don't care, then as you move in that way, you start seeing things multiply in a good manner. And you may not even care about that. And the fact that you don't care or the fact that you're emotionally numb about it means that you're going to do stuff in the purest form. So you're going to leave a good trail in your life. And once again, you may not even care about that. I'm just telling you how to redirect that emotional numbness. Because I experienced it for a good gap in my life. Until I started understanding that How can we make this world better for the people following us? That's just what I thought about. And I was like, since I'm emotionally numb, let me just speak in a way that I know other people won't speak about. Let me just speak in a way that I know other people is not willing to speak. Let me be brutally honest. Because whatever comes back to me, it comes back. And I'm saying the same thing for you. Not necessarily speaking, but just use your emotional numbness in ways that can advance the culture, in ways that can advance lives. Because there's not too many people that can experience big things and it not affect them. So somebody negatively commenting on your video really ain't going, it ain't going to scratch the surface. Somebody negatively commenting on your song or whatever, it ain't going to scratch the surface. It won't matter. you already emotionally numb. So use that in your advantage to make sure our world gets better. And I know you're thinking, I don't care to even do that. I don't care about none of that. I'm just telling you a way to redirect it. Because sitting with that emotional numbness, it's not going to do nothing for us. We're going to look up and it's just going to be 20 years later and we are what we are. So at least we can make effort. To get out of it. Whether it is travel. Whether it is. Just give your life some purpose. That's all I'm saying.
Thank you for taking out the time to watch this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to get a shirt, a hat, or a book, or anything like that, you can do so in the description box below. Also, keep sending me messages on Instagram. I really appreciate y'all's messages. I really appreciate the inboxes and responding to it, everything. So thank you once again. My name is Cyrus Asar, and my mission is to decrease depression and prevent suicide by boosting self-awareness. The goal is to be better than you were yesterday and apply that mentality every day, growing to greatness.